try this again. I just sat down to start eating something and a plant falls over and dies. Okay. Plant is gone. Um, it's been a while. Again, things are kind of crazy. I'm getting close to the end of school, so time is just nuts. So I'm trying to do things when I can. Um, I've already done a tasting of Marmite. Marmite is an acquired taste. In fact, Marmite. Um, it's like salty grease. But, believe it or not, the stuff kind of grows on you. Not literally, but um, it's, it's like half gone now. You, can't, you don't eat a lot of the stuff. It's pretty strong. But, that being said, <laughs> that being said, um, I got a lot of comments that people told me I need to try this stuff called Bovrite. I don't know what the deal is with the ites. There's Vegemite, Marmite, and Borvite. I got some Borvite. It came in the mail. It came all the way from England because I guess nobody in the United States has this stuff. Um, this is a meat and vegetable extract. Um, sounds interesting. There's no MSG. That's good. Uh, it's got vegetable protein, beef stock, water, yeast extract, modified cornstarch, caramel color, sugar, salt, onion powder, natural spices, lactic acid, acetic acid, contains soy and egg. Okay. Um, even has directions. Uh, spread thinly on bread, toast, or crackers. Adds flavors to stews and gravies. Add one teaspoon of hot water with uh, salt and pepper to taste for a beefy hot drink. No refrigeration required. Nothing is better than a beefy hot drink. So let's give this stuff a try. Um, as usual, they package these things so you have to be a magician to open them. Use the correct tool for the job. other hand be smarter than the equipment you are operating <laughs> like a monkey you can use tools so let's give this stuff a try I got my I don't have any regular crackers I don't want crackers or any kind of flavor on them so I've got some stale bread we'll see how that works whoa this stuff is a lot more liquidy I can't tip it up. Uh, this stuff here is really thick. It's kind of like toothpaste. This stuff here is, is, I don't know if you can, can't really see it there. It smells just like Marmite, but it's got kind of a little hint of it, of like soy sauce. See, this stuff is real liquidy. Um, I had somebody write in one of my comments somewhere that he just loved this stuff. So let's see what it's all about. It's got beef in it. I'm not sure how you get vegetable extracts. See, the, when I did the Marmite tasting, uh, all my Aussie friends told me that uh, I was a typical American and applied it with a trowel. You're supposed to use just a little tiny bit. There's a little tiny bit. Let's see. It sounds like I'm chewing rocks. stuff I'm eating it on is totally masking the flavor. Probably shouldn't have used this. Let's just try some just like it is. It's not as salty as Marmite. Um, wow. That's kind of interesting. I, I can't imagine eating this on toast. It's got a little, uh, ooh, that was a little bit. It's got a little bit of a, 
uh, a marmite-ish aftertaste, but it's it's a lot milder. The the salt is so much less. Um, I could see how this stuff in a cup of warm water would make some nice broth. Let's give this a guy a try. Okay, that was a lot. Hang on a second. I'm gonna leave this running because I'm a dumbass. Good thing I do this in the kitchen. These. Yeah. They're like six months old. Don't jump on me for wasting food. What is the deal with packages? Let's package our food so nobody can get at it. Jeez. Maybe that's why these are low-fat crackers, because you can't get them out of a stupid package. Yeah, and they're all broken up. All right. Everything tastes good on a Ritz. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably a little lot. A little lot. That's probably a lot. Wow, I would have, I'd have to say it. I don't mind that at all. That's kind of tasty. I'm not gonna eat a ton of it. Um, well, I almost wish I had some warm water so I could test the soup theory there. Um, wow. Not bad. I kind of like it. And you know what? I was going to do a second movie, but since it's right here in front of me, we've got this. I've already tried this one. You can go back and check my movies out, blah, 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 whatever. So, Bovrite. It's not bad. This one, Vegemite, is right in front of me, so I might as well do it now. I know it's going to be a long video. i am going to sit here forever. This is a product of Australia. It's made by Kraft. Uh, this is a yeast extract, salt, potassium, a bunch of crap. Got all kinds of stuff. It's got a little bit more, more flavoring stuff than the Marmite does. These things are almost... I know they're not identical. Don't send me a knife through the mail because I insulted your greasy stuff but uh let's just do this now since it's here Ooh, wow okay there's the the salty greasy smell Ooh. yeah oh, man I, I subscribe to a lot of eating channels and like people like the la beast and all that just downing jars of this stuff wow that's pretty gnarly. Let's get all the bro bite off. I don't know how anybody could do that without just puking your guts up. That's actually a lot. Let's put this on a cracker. See if the Ritz can save it. Wow, see this stuff here is really thick. The bro bites kind of liquidy. Wow, these crackers do a good job of hiding that flavor. I thought the Marmite was really, really strong. Or be just salty. You know, the, the Vegemite is a lot milder. I'd say this one is really liquidy, the Brovite. This one here, you could still, I mean, you could scoop it with a spoon, but it's really, it's still kind of runny. This stuff here is pretty solid, and it, it smells really close to the Marmite, but it's a lot milder flavor. I'm not going to make like a whole sandwich with it, but I mean, this much Marmite would almost be 
too much to handle. But uh, sign of approval. Wow. Wow. I I I would have to say. I like the Vegemite better. It's still a very acquired taste. It, it takes a little getting used to. Because it is, it is a, even though I'm saying it's mild, it is a strong flavor. Uh, this is like one of those things they always say you either love it or you hate it. Yeah. You know, I would have to say the Vegemite, I'd give that a thumbs up. It's not too bad. If you get too much of it, it's going to be pretty strong. The Bovrite, I don't mind that one either. The Bovrite has, it's, it's a multitasker. You can make soup, all kinds of stuff with it. So, you know, this would be a good keeper. The Marmite, I don't mind this now, but this stuff was pretty rough when I first tried it. Granted, I ate a lot of it. But uh, this one's got a lot stronger flavor. I think the Vegemite's a, a lot milder, a lot more agreeable. Um, I like it. Vegemite, Brovite, you've already seen Marmite. Give them a try. Be brave. Actually, you know what? A friend of mine that lives in Australia said that her sons like doing the Vegemite challenge where they take a spoonful of Vegemite and they stick it in their mouth and see if they can keep it in. Uh, something's telling me I should do that. Because now that I mentioned it, if I don't do it, I'm going to get that, You're a baby! Where? Where? Ooh, that's... Ooh. I know it's not a full spoonful, but... If you've never had this for had this before, you need to hush until you've had some. There we go. This is my weak version of the Vegemite challenge. On top of this, there's like three things in one movie. It's a threefer. Anyway, here we go. Ah. <laughs> wow. I like them teeth. <laughs> Licking diaper. Um well, it actually wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. If I did that with a marmite, I probably would have thrown up because this this stuff's a lot stronger. Um Vegemite challenge on top of all this, not too bad if you're feeling brave. I mean, this stuff's actually kind of good for you. It's got, all, it's got a lot of B vitamins, all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, I don't know how healthy this one, they don't have, well, it doesn't have, it's one of those things that has nothing in it, no carbs, no fat, no salt, blah, 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 blah. This has like nothing in it, but it has five calories. Oh, it's one, one total carb. Oh, one gram of protein. There you go. So this stuff's all protein. This one here has all kinds of stuff in it. But uh, I would say these guys are keepers. I got these off of Amazon. But, like, this one actually shipped from Australia. And this one shipped from uh, England. So, uh, this one actually came from the U.S. Even though it's from it was made overseas. Kind of weird. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway. If you're feeling brave, give it a try. They're not too bad. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Still got new subscribers. Welcome. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for all that stuff. You guys are awesome. Give yourself a thumbs up. Bye.
I'm back. 